Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I was thinking today that I wanted to sort of reorganize my wardrobe because there's a bunch of things in there that I'm not wearing. And I also wanted to finish going through all of the, the suitcases that I stored all the items that I couldn't fit during my pregnancy in. So I thought I would just bring you guys along with me. Uh, and I'm gonna start just by kind of going through removing things that I'm not wearing or that I don't really feel are in line with the star manifesto that I set myself at the start of the year and I will leave a link to the blog post. It's not really a super defined thing, it's much more fluid, but hopefully that'll give you an idea of the type of items that I'm gravitating towards for 2020. So maybe I'll show you a before and you can have a look and see what my closet space is currently looking like. Alrighty, so okay so this is my side of the wardrobe and I've got uh, three sections I suppose. Over on the far left, that's where I keep my sweaters. I've got denim here, which really needs a rejig. And then in these drawers, I've got even more knitwear. And I have said this before, but I do have a knitwear problem. Then I keep all of my tops here, as well as a couple of leather jackets. Down the bottom, I tend to keep my skirts, or shorter skirts there, blazers and casual jackets here. And then in this section, this is where I keep all of my dresses that I'm wearing as well as longer skirts and trousers. So I might set you up so you can kind of see what I'm pulling out of the closet. So I'm just going to kind of pull things out as I sort of feel that I'm not really wearing them. So like for example I've got this white tank here and a white tank is, is an essential for me but I never really feel that great whenever I'm wearing this and I think it's just because it's not the right white tank for me. There's nothing wrong with it, the quality of it is really nice, it feels really good and it's an otherwise great basic but it just doesn't really seem that right for me so I'm going to pop that on this rail and it'll be nice because I'll have a bit more space in here and actually this t-shirt uh, I might move this into my loungewear which I keep in the spare bedroom it's from Suzanne and I noticed after I washed it for the first time hang on can you guys see this it got a little hole just here so I haven't really been too thrilled with the quality of this one so I'm going to put this, yeah, in my loungewear, I think. Uh, I got a few other white tees. Um, now this top here is something that I actually got because I thought it would be great for nursing. Uh, and I need to try it on because I tried it on after I got back from the hospital and I didn't feel very good in it. Even though there's technically nothing wrong with it, like it's beautiful. So I might try that one on again. I'll just put that over the front. This top is too big for me. I tried that one on recently to wear it. I've got these beautiful tops from Matan actually, or Matin, I'm not sure how you pronounce the brand, but they're very beachy and I'm not going to be wearing either of them so I'm going to pop those away in storage. This tank is a great example of something I've got in my wardrobe which I technically really love but I just don't feel it works for me. So this is an air tank from Everlane and it's just a muscle style tank. I love the silhouette of it. It's really great. Uh, the quality of it is really nice. It's really soft and it is fully opaque. However, it's a very cool toned pink. So I have olive skin with a yellow undertone and I find it can be really hard matching the right undertone of my clothing to uh, my complexion. And this one I feel just pulls a little bit too cool on me. I find neutral colors or something that's even just slightly warmer works better uh, because I do tan. Actually, I will put a photo of what I look like when I'm tan because my skin goes very bronzy and very kind of golden, uh, whereas I find in the winter I'm very pale and that's kind of when, if I wear cooler colors, it just really enhances that cool tone of my complexion, which I don't love. So while I love this in theory, I think this is something I am going to probably part ways with. Uh, I wasn't really technically planning on doing a declutter or anything, but um, I will probably be setting some things aside and then I might end up selling them later in the year. Um, another thing that I'm going to pull out because I won't be wearing this until spring summer is this little set from Ruby, which I wore during my pregnancy. Okay, cool. So that's sort of my tops all sorted. Um, then on the bottom here, there's two blazers I want to pull out that I'm kind of umming and ahhing over. So I've got this one here from Yoli and Otis. I've had this for three years now, I think. Um, Yoli and Otis is a brand that's owned by a girl um, that I actually know from Wellington. Her name's Lena. And she is just incredibly 
stylish. Uh, she used to work at Karen Walker and I swear everything I saw her in I wanted to buy because she was she actually used to be a model and uh, she looked amazing and everything. And this is one of her blazers. Maybe it'll be better if I put a photo up on screen of what this looked like or what it looks like on me properly with a outfit that it goes with. But I just feel like I never find the opportunity to wear this. It is such beautiful quality. It is really nice soft linen uh, that doesn't really crease up too badly either. I mean, she totally nailed it with this blazer. Um, but I do find the collarless design um, and the super long sleeves, like this is how long they are. And I'm 172 centimeters tall, so I don't really have super short limbs. Uh, I just find, I don't know, it's a little bit too long in the body. I wish that there were lapels on it. Maybe that's why I don't reach for it. Uh, and then, you know, in the winter time when I would maybe wear something like this, it feels a little bit too lightweight. Uh, I don't know. There's just a few reasons why I haven't really been wearing it. And I'm not sure. I didn't wear it at all last summer. Uh, or even the summer before that, maybe. So, I don't know. Do I keep it? Do I sell it? The other one I've got is actually from Brent Audrey and I do have the matching shorts for this one too. And this is really beautiful, but again, I just haven't really reached for it. And I think part of that is because I'm being pregnant. This one's a lot more structured and shorter. It's, it is actually really nice. Um, so yeah, this one, I think I might just pop it in the other room because it is getting cold and I'm not really gonna wear something like this now anyway. Um, yeah, other blazers, I might leave all of them. the other ones that I've got down here. Okay, so I bought these shorts from Basic while I was pregnant because I thought they would be so great to wear just as we sort of um, transition into autumn here. And also, I love the elasticated waistband. I thought they would be a good alternative or more casual alternative to my Philip Lim shorts, which I love. Um, but I actually don't think these are very flattering on. Um, maybe I can do a little try on of these afterwards and just kind of show you all the things that I'm on the fence about. Uh, so I might just kind of put that in another pile. Then I want to sort out my denim, which, so yeah, this is kind of all my denim that I can fit in here. And I've got literally an entire half of the suitcase filled with jeans. I don't really know how I became that person. <laughs> so I need to kind of cut it back or at least figure out how I'm going to store everything. So i got to go through all of these. Hang on. Let's move you. Let's move you back a little bit. So, oh. I have like denim shorts, which I don't know how much I'm going to be wearing these, but it's still relatively warm. Like, I mean, it's 28 degrees today. White jeans. I'm keeping those. My leather trousers, which I might hang. These are my high-waisted and bow ones. I'm oh, sorry if you can hear the baby as well. Luke is currently playing with him while I uh, do this so I can have uh, a little bit of time to organize a few things. All well, my Levi's wedgie straights. I feel like I've got another pair of Levi's as well, like some 501 somewhere. Hmm. Maybe it's this pair. I might have to try those on as well. My country road ones I love. I've got two pairs of jeans actually from, from uh, Citizens of Humanity and I'm not sure, I think they might be a bit too big for me. Oh yeah, this is the other pair, oh my god. So I, I've got to try those on too because they're both in a 26 and I remember when I tried them on they felt actually very roomy, almost like they ran a whole size large. Um, okay, yeah, I've got three pairs of maternity jeans here which I can store those away or make them or something. Okay, so that's kind of all of that. I'm gonna do a try on of that later. Um, all of my knitwear I've kind of gone through and then the only other thing I need to sort out is my dress section. So, uh, there's a few things I wanted to kind of move out of here. One is this little Luna Resort dress, which you probably will have seen in my IGTV for styling videos. Also maybe this one here, which I bought from uh, Need Supply, which I loved wearing during my pregnancy. And I'm just gonna kind of store that one away for next spring, summer. This one as well, this is from Loom Resort too. It's such a pretty little baby doll style dress and I loved wearing that while I was pregnant. Uh, this dress is from Karen Walker and I actually don't know. It's called the Dead Draw Dress and oh, <laughs> it is 
so oversized. Like this is a size six. I was wearing this in my pregnancy and when I went for acupuncture, the acupuncturist said to me, she's like, oh, is that a maternity dress? And I said, no, no, it's not. <laughs> it's regular. It's just so big. I could probably fit about three of me in here. So I'm on the fence about that one. I'll try that one on as well. Uh, I have this little one from ASOS, which I actually feel doesn't really suit me because I don't know if you can tell, I've gone up a few cup sizes and I think this is more suited to someone who is uh, a little bit smaller chested than I am. So I think I might pop this one away for next summer. This was sort of the uh, milkmaid style dress that I wore from ASOS that I loved. Um, and then I've just very recently kind of gone through all my trousers so I'm going to leave that too. Okay, cool. So I think what I'm going to do now is just pull everything out of the suitcases and kind of go through and assess. Um, I am hoping that what I have in there will fit my closet. There's a skirt I'm looking for, which I can't find. It's from Everlane and it's just an A-line black skirt, which I really want to be able to wear on repeat for winter. So I'm hoping I'm going to stumble across that. Otherwise, I've got no idea what I've done with it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have to tackle my jeans. I'm going to have to try them all on and see what does and does not fit me because I'm definitely not my pre-baby size. Um, I would say... My waist is a few centimeters larger, um, and I mean, I don't know about my hips, but definitely my waist isn't what it was previously, which is totally fine. I'm not concerned about that at all, but it does mean I've got to figure out what jeans I will be able to pop back into my closet. So yeah, I'm going to open those out. I might start with the smaller one first. So I've got two suitcases. That is a smaller one, which I wanted to tackle first, but it's got all my jeans in it. So I'm going to start with this one here, which looks like it's actually got a lot of kind of fancy dresses in it. So I'm not sure how much of this is going to come out, but I got a few things that I need to try on. Like, I don't know whether this lover dress fits me. Um, I really don't think this skirt from Christopher Kane fits me. I do have it in a gray camo, but um, I do love the blue as well. Uh, these chop chop trousers there is no way that these will fit me because they're a size six uh, but i will give everything in here a go and just sort of see and then i've got things like this beautiful karen walker coat which one of my girlfriends keeps asking me about i never wear it but i just can't bear to let it go um so yeah i'm gonna have to go through all of these things i might just hang them up and then uh yeah do a bit of a try on session case number two and yeah in here you can kind of see all of my jeans that I need to try on because I'm not sure what fits me and then I've got a whole bunch more dresses skirts shorts that kind of thing and a whole bunch of my tops as well in here also is it obvious that I have such a thing for white knit sweaters I've got so many of them but they're all different also I live in Sydney which is a relatively warm climate so I don't need this much knitwear I have a real problem guys I don't know what to say. But yeah, um, I'm going to try on all the jeans and then, I mean, things like this little skirt, I might have to try on as well because I think it may be a little bit too small for me at the moment. So I popped it in the pile. These are the matching shorts to that jacket from Friend of Audrey. So I might try these on as well, just see if they fit. And there's a few things like this little crop. This is from Alice McCaw and it is honestly the most darling thing ever. There is no way I'm going to fit into this. I mean, I'll try it, but I think I will be busting out of it, like quite literally. <laughs>
able to do up my uh, ASOS jeans, although I think they're a little, they're a little bit tight, but I'm um, surprised these fit, so maybe my Dr. Jams will fit me. They're so stretchy, so that'll be nice because they're my favorite jeans and I was a bit worried I was gonna have to try and find a replacement. Another pair which feel too tight, um, these are the Eveline 90s Cheeky Straight. I used to have these in the 25, which is my usual denim size, and I just found they were too big across the sort of seat and around the bum area, or at least for what, how I wanted to wear them. Uh, so I sized down to a 24, but they're on back order when I purchased them, and it meant that I didn't get them until I was in my second trimester of pregnancy. So they were kind of already too tight for me at that point. Um, but in case you wanted to see how they fit on me right now, yeah, they, I mean, these are a little bit closer, I'd say, to the original style, but they just don't have any give or stretch to them. I really like these jeans if you're looking for kind of a vintage -y vibe pair of jeans that are really affordable. <laughs> So I've got my Dr. Denims on, but they're definitely too tight, like they're cutting in and pulling across the uh, zipper. <laughs> um, so I think what I might do is just pop these in the other room for now because I'm only seven weeks postpartum now anyway, so I wasn't really expecting to be able to fit into these. And it's possible that towards winter time, so middle of the year, maybe these will fit me a bit better. Um, and if not, that's not a problem. I will just go on the hunt for a new pair of skinny jeans, but hopefully they will fit again because I love wearing them and I've had these jeans now for six years. These are those shorts from basic that I was talking about. I mean, I love the way that they look from the front. I think they look really cool and they're so comfortable because they've got the super wide waistband. But I mean, I don't really think they're that flattering on me from behind or on the side. So I don't know whether I just hang on to them as kind of around the house piece, but I do find they pick up quite a lot of fluff. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments down below. Okay, this top I can't even zip up, so I think it might have to go to a new home. I don't know when this would ever fit me again. It's so cute though. This dress just fits me, but it's a little bit more cleavage than I would normally like. It's very cute though, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not loving how much is on show. So I might just put, I might put this one in the maybe pile. This is that ASOS dress that I was talking about before. I feel like it's really sweet. I mean, I love these kinds of smock style dresses, but the neckline, I feel like it's maybe a bit more suited to someone who is a little bit more flat chested than I am. Um, but this makes a really good kind of maternity dress because there's a lot of room and I was wearing this even when I was full term. This is the final thing I wanted to try on. It's that dress from Karen Walker and it is so oversized. I actually need to be wearing a slip under it, but I'm not right now. Uh, yeah, I can't really decide. Uh, this is not nursing friendly at all, but it was great throughout um, the pregnancy and I can't really decide whether this is something I hang on to or not. Um, again, let me know what you guys think. Um, one of the cool things about this dress is that it has pockets. Um, which is always really handy and I love the print on it. I just think it's very cool It's kind of lots of little chess pieces, but Yeah, let me know your thoughts. <laughs> I have done a great job of making a huge mess in this room so the next thing I've got to do is sort of put everything back into the closet and I'm really hoping that it's all going to fit in there <laughs>
lunch, had lunch, I've hung out with the baby a bit more, but I've also finished tidying up this room and getting everything back into the closet, which is good and it all fits, so pretty pleased about that. Um, I did put some things that I wasn't really sure about that don't really fit, that kind of thing, into the suitcase, which we're just going to pop at the top of the wardrobe. I'll probably get Luke's help with that because it's a little bit heavy, but I thought I would show you because I also just gave the closet a little bit of a general tidy up as well because it kind of needed it. Um, yeah, so let me just give you a little bit of a look. So first thing you'll notice is that there is nothing on the end of this rack now. I've moved everything. These, as I said, are just items that I'm gravitating towards a lot at the moment. So I've just put them on this rail. They could go on the wardrobe, but I kind of like having those pieces there to just, um, I don't know, inspire me. Then, so uh, I have folded up some knit sweaters here that I'll be wearing for autumn winter. My jeans, I haven't done them in colour order because I find it really difficult to sort of uh, distinguish between them that way. So instead, I've done them by skinny leg and then slim or straight leg styles here. So make it a bit easier for me to find things. My knits are all <laughs> sorted out. Then to the right of my sweaters, I have all of my tops and I organize them from light to dark and then also by style within uh, each color category. And then, like I said, I've got my two leather jackets on the end. The bottom part of my wardrobe has not really changed. Uh, I just took out those two creamy colored ones and a skirt, but everything else in here is the same. My shorter skirts will probably go in there a bit later on. And then this section of the wardrobe is just a little bit lighter now. So... Uh, yeah, again, color coordinated. The only section of the closet that isn't color coordinated is the trouser part. I just sort of had them all in there willy nilly. So yeah, it's looking a lot better now and a lot tidier. So there you have it, that was a bit of a closet clean out, I guess switcheroo, tidy up, all that sort of thing, kind of popping those bits back in my wardrobe that I was I'm able to wear throughout my pregnancy. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the items that I showed, let me know. I will try and leave as much linked in the description box as I can. I am thinking it might be really fun to do a bit of a shop my wardrobe series. So maybe I'll pick out five items and style them up, like items that I've had for at least a year in my closet. So if you would like to see that, let me know. And let me know if there's particular styles you would like to uh, see me kind of address in that video um but yeah that is kind of it from me uh i am going to spend the rest of the afternoon uh, probably relaxing now but i hope that you guys enjoyed this very sort of chilled out kind of laid back vlog style video thank you so much for watching uh please do look after yourself through this time and i will see you next week with a brand new video see you soon bye <laughs>